You know, like I say, just about every week we get a lot of letters here at the Headbangers Ball, and uh, we do read them, and I'm going to try to answer a lot of them, and we do get stuff from the desk, and a lot of you people write and talk about the band DRI and say that you really like them a lot, and in a couple minutes they're going to be over on Jennifer. I just want to tell you guys that we get a lot of letters about you, so there's a lot of viewers out there that are real happy to see you here, so cool. just uh, want to ask you a We're question. Here. DRI, the name stands for... Dirty Rotten Imbeciles. And are you guys Dirty Rotten Imbeciles? We'll let you decide. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys go to the show, it's like up to them, right? If you guys are Dirty Rotten Imbeciles or not. Right. Now, I've, I've seen the drawing, which is kind of that guy, right? Mm -hmm. he, he's, he looks either running or slamming or... He's slamming, thrashing. He's slamming. Just wanted to make sure. Now, on your album, you guys talk about a whole bunch of different stuff. From gun control to slamming. I think you have a song about Salman Rushdie. Yeah, right. kill the words. Kill the words. Kill the words. Um, a lot of social issues. And, and what do you do? You guys just watch the news and kind of... <laughs> are you a political band? <laughs> to an extent, I would say we are. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We write about things that are worth writing about to us rather than just anything that will go over good. Mm -hmm. We like to write about things that are important. Right. And uh, you guys are currently on the road, right? Right. And you played... Around you're playing right around now around America, all over North America and Canada mm -hmm. for ten weeks. Okay, now we're going to be seeing your video a little bit later and talking to you guys about that. But right now, here's one of my favorite new bands. This is Gothic Slam with Who Died and Made You God. E R I Spike and Kurt, and uh, you guys have got a brand new bass player, right? Right, John Lenore. And how did you find him? <laughs> We auditioned maybe 30 bass players in San Francisco and Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And what are the qualifications to be a dirty, <laughs> rotten imbecile? Well, it, was, it had a lot to do with attitude and uh, stuff like that rather than just musicianship, you know, because we're having problems with bass players, keeping a hold of them, so. It's got to be someone we can live with someone almost every day with. of the year. Now, I also noticed that um, you guys all write songs together, right? As opposed to one principal songwriter. Right. Is it tough? with everybody kind of throwing in ideas, or does it work out good that way? Good. It works out good that way, mm -hmm. yeah, good, good mixture of... Now, your latest video, Beneath the Wheel, which we've been showing a real lot on Headbangers Ball, I know a lot of people really like it, it's kind of about a guy not fitting in. Right. Is it kind of... Somebody pressured, pressured too hard to succeed in something that they don't want to succeed in. Mm -hmm. Did you guys kind of help write the video, come up with the idea? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had a lot to do. Well, is there, yeah, is there some personal experiences? Like, do you guys have problems, like, at school and stuff like that? Not too I much. I didn't. Uh -huh. Not too much. So you just all, like, great A students, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to see the video from you guys right now. This is DRI with Beneath the Wheel. Francisco, right? Bay Area. Yeah. Now, were you there during the big earthquake recently? Yeah, sure was. Yeah. <laughs> Got any good earthquake stories? Oh, uh, um, <clears throat> there's a lot of earthquakes <laughs> there. Uh -huh. That one just lasted a little bit longer. It was a little bit Maybe. bigger, but we're used to being shaken up there. Yeah, I know. I live in L.A., so it's kind of used to it. Yeah. Did you get any damage or stuff like that to your house? Yeah, there was, there was damage here and there. Um, it was pretty bad, but mm -hmm. we lived through it. Now, speaking about doing damage, um, you guys are currently on the road, and uh, you got any wild stories? Because I know the crowds get pretty wild at your shows. We played Mexico City recently, uh -huh. two, two nights in Mexico City, which is a pretty big accomplishment for any band, I think, because not that many bands get to play there. Right. Yeah. Is it always kind of nervous because you really don't know how the crowds are going to react to you until They're you get there? They're real crazy there. Yeah, real crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Now, we've been watching the video Beneath the Wheel on MTV a lot, and you guys have another video in the works? Abduction. It's Abduction. already finished. It's so finished. it's done, so we're going to see it real soon, right? Right, right. I hope. A couple of weeks. Good. Um, you want to give us a little hint about what abduction's about? Uh, it speaks for itself, yeah, pretty it's much. It's self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. It's just about kids getting abducted and uh, nobody knowing where they're going. Really? So it, the, You guys the, make songs and videos with a meaning then, right? Yeah. 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 The song yeah, asks a lot of questions like, who are the type of people that, that abduct kids and what do they do with them and where are the kids and that sort of thing. Good. Sounds good. Okay, well, uh, thanks a lot for stopping by and of Thank course you. we'll be seeing the abduction video. Someday right. soon on Headbangers Ball. In the meantime, here is Lord Tracy out with the boys.